Hi everyone, this is Simran from QuickWorks. Today I am presenting you Quick Delivery Dispatcher Panel that is fit for multiple on-demand delivery services. Now be it food delivery, flour delivery, grocery delivery, last mile delivery, medicine delivery or what not, Quick Delivery Dispatcher Panel is your solution. So let us get started and explore how the admin panel of quick delivery works for your business. So to begin with, towards the left we have the entire admin panel. Therefore, let us see what we have in each section. Dashboard. In the dashboard section, you will have a clear display of the driver's booking details, the active driver's location and the driver team's details. Besides this, you can easily assign the drivers for a new booking via the team booking module. Apart from that, towards the right you have the My Profile section from where you can have a clear glimpse of the entire business panel's details. The right section. In this section, you will have a clear display of all the booking statuses, be it pending, scheduled, ongoing, completed and even the cancel request. Apart from this, you can make dummy bookings by putting in some basic details and you can download these dummy templates right from here. Apart from this, here you will find a search and filter option from where you can search for various IDs pertaining to the zones, tags, location, radius, driver and the customer details. On top of that, you can also delete a booking or share it to various social media platforms. Next, you can add new bookings by putting in some details manually and you will see a new right is created. Next comes the customers module. In this section, you can have a clear note of all the customers details starting from the image, name, customers number, total ride count, last ride count and the total amount spent. You also get an option to unblock or block a customer and from the action button, you can view all the customers details or even edit any customers detail if you want. Next. You can also add new customers manually by putting in some basic details or search for a customer right from here. Next we have the vehicle section. This section is basically to assign a vehicle to your driver. You also have an option to edit, delete a vehicle or add new vehicles if needed. Now comes the driver's panel. This panel is basically to show the statuses of the drivers, whether he is logged in, logged off or pending. Apart from that, all the information of the driver will be portrayed here starting from the image, personal information, driver's ID, total ride count, average rating, ignore booking count, accept booking count and the vehicles category. You also get an option to unblock or block a driver, show or hide the pricing, allow reroute and the action button as usual. Furthermore, you can search for a driver and book according to the search and end date and add new driver if needed. Moving further, now we have the zones panel which is basically assigned specific in a geofence from where you are providing a service. You can add new zones manually by simply putting or locating the cursor on the map and a new zone will be created. Furthermore, if needed you can delete the zone and you will also get the information about the zone, the driver, the delivered ride, online driver, unassigned ride and the action button as usual. The team's module. In this section, you will have a clear display of the team's name, the driver's count, the online driver count, ongoing driver rate and the pending rides. You also have the option to unblock or block a team, show or hide the pricing, allow reroute and the action button from where you can edit or delete a team manually. Apart from that, if needed, you can add for new teams by simply adding the team name, the zone and the vehicle save and a new team will be created. Next comes the pricing. In this section, you will have a clear display of the pricing name, the type, the driver's percentage and the action button as usual. Here you can also add for new pricing according to the base, the kilometers, the minutes, cancellation charges and the other details. Add and simply the pricing details will be added. Moving forward, Next, we have the report section. In this section, you can have a clear note on the driver's reports starting from the payouts, pending payouts and the active areas. If you want to download the report of a driver, you can manually search from the start to end date 
and export the CSV file according to your convenience. Moving further, next we have the Tools module. From this module, you can manage the subscriptions and provide the benefits to your users. You can also edit or delete any subscription and add new if needed. Besides this, there is a surcharge tool from where you can search for the extra charges taken right from the booking count, the amount, start date and the end date. As usual, you will also find the edit and the delete button and there is an option to add new surcharge rates according to your convenience. Finally, now we have reached the last segment or the module of our admin panel known as the settings. This module covers various verticals because we wanted to address all your needs. So let us start with general settings. In this option, you will find the app code, the app store and the play store link along with the QR code. And now you will get the option to log in. The login option is very dynamic as you need to start with the delivery type proof, time zone, time format, date format, currency, supported country code, navigation and the wallet limit. When you submit all the details and save, the login options will be completed. Furthermore, now we have the customized setting option. From this option, you can easily manage the images or logos that are you are showing in the app side and the admin panel side. You also get an option to choose the colors and the settings accordingly that will be shown on the admin panel side simultaneously. And then we have the right allocation. In this section, you can change the right algorithm according to the requirement, which means that there are different algorithms for booking requests, which are sent to all, nearest available, and one by one for multiple bookings. Apart from this, there are options for accepting upcoming bookings, and showing the minutes before the bookings on the portal. On top of that, there is also a segment of keeping the multiple bookings options on or off manually. Next, we have plugins, APIs, webhooks, billings, and tag modules that have their specifications simultaneously. We have the driver's documents. Here, you can easily add the documents of the drivers for the verification process after adding the documents of a new driver, he can be easily onboarded. Then we have the CMS page. Here you can manage the CMS easily. If you are looking for a feature where you can manage the about us, the cookies policy, the privacy policy and terms and conditions and many more CMS pages, then this is the best platform for you. You can add and change the same from here and it will be reflected accordingly on the website under the footer section and in the applications as well. Now comes the sub-admin. Here you can give the access to manage other trustworthy person who can handle the project. However, the access is confined to certain arenas and not all modules. Also in such case, you can create a super admin and provide creds to that person who can manage it while you have the authority to block or unblock the sub-admin whenever needed. After that, we have the custom forms. Here, you will have the access to the contact us form. The users can fill the basic details that are needed and a sign on form is also available, including distinctive properties. After that, we have the bank forms. This is the last segment of the bookings module. Here you will manage the bank account details of your drivers precisely. Finally, this was all about the quick delivery app admin panel. As you can see, it was extremely simple to use so if you are planning to launch your own delivery platform, I recommend you to click on the link in the description and assist us in getting this panel ready for your business. You can also email us your details 